Hi, as you may know, my name is Jen Delaney and I'm a licensed professional counselor working online teletherapy and I do brain spotting and other forms of therapy. And today I wanted to talk a little bit about public speaking and the fear of public speaking. So when I was in high school, I had gone to a parochial school when I was younger and it was very strict and I just was terrified of speaking. By the time I got to middle school to Santa Monica public school system which was very different than the very strict school I had grown up going to in grade school. So at any rate I was terrified and I used to make an agreement uh, with my teachers that my grade I would do extra writing assignments so I could avoid as much as possible speaking in class. And that went on for me really until I was in a master's program in my early 40s and even then it was a writing master's. I um, was required to, to do readings in front of um, a theater of people and I was terrified, just terrified. I mean, you know, almost throwing up before I'd go out. It wasn't until I found this career <laughs> that I began to think, you know, I need to adjust, I, I need to figure out this fear. So I started small. I knew I wanted to speak about the advantages of ve vagus, the vagus nerve exercises and mindfulness exercises to calming people down. It helped that my topic was calming because I could be teaching exercises that were also calming me. But I started speaking in front of maybe a group of eight and then I moved up to 10 and then 15. And then I started, you know, using my index cards and I started really knowing the material relatively well. And there came a point where I was told I was going to have 35 people at a conference and it turned out I had 135 in the room, standing room only. And the people in back wouldn't really even be able to see my slides because of the way the room was a very long room. And I knew that I was going to have to be animated and I was going to have to get off my cards. So I could still use my slides as reference, but I knew that I needed to get beyond myself. And one of the ways that I have done that is I I was really excited about what I was conveying and I felt that I was a channel for this good information. So it could be that you're just giving you know a talk about a deck to a group of uh, office colleagues but even then you're conveying something beyond yourself whether it's for the company whether it's for your your group um, so really just starting to think of yourself as a vehicle so it's kind of a reframe some of us have spiritual practices so it could be you know that you you're a channel for your higher self for your um, God, you know, that you're a channel, that you're speaking beyond yourself and it's moving through you. So we prepare the channel, we prepare ourselves with the material that we're presenting, but then we get out of the way in essence. So it's not about our small ego self, like, am I going to look good? Am I going to fail? Am I going to succeed? You know, so it is practicing with smaller groups um, and it also is a reframe in the way that you see it so that it's less personal. So hopefully that will be helpful for you because this is, can be a devastating shutdown. Also doing some brain spotting or therapy because it could be, um, you know, that it was dangerous to speak in your family when you were young, for example. Or it could be intergenerational. If someone said the wrong thing in front of the Nazis, they were dead, you know? So these things live in us. We don't even know what maybe intergenerationally, like your great grandmother, your great great grandfather was going through that could affect like, will I be killed for what I say? You know, that happened, maybe not now, but it could have happened in your genetic line. So, you know, doing some of the therapy, especially a body center therapy that can work through the intergenerational stuff that you don't even have to know. People always think you have to have an exact memory for what's happening and that's not always the case. It can be living in the body. So doing some therapy around what's happening for you, the shutdown that's happening can be very helpful. So anyway, hope this takes you farther along your journey. I wish you serenity, freedom, and joy. Take good care.